In Curse of the Pharaohs, the third major expansion for Assassin's Creed Origins, Bayek heads to Thebes to find a mysterious artifact before the Order of the Ancients can misuse it, and he immediately finds much more than he bargained for. Instead of human enemies, undead pharaohs are materializing in the streets and slaughtering civilians. Grave robbers are treating the Valley of the Kings like a strip mine for antiquities. And we haven't even mentioned the van-sized beasts that pass for scorpions around here. As you work to unravel the mysteries around you, you'll explore a vast new territory filled with surprises. Curse of the Pharaoh's map contains the sizable city of Thebes, while across the Nile you'll find the Valley of the Kings, one of Egypt's greatest necropolises. And as he works to quell the spirits of each restless pharaoh, Bayek finds his way into their individual afterlives, which exist as big self-contained maps connected to portals in their tombs. You should not have come. The Egyptian underworld follows its own rules, and here it works as a crash course in the more mystical sides of ancient Egypt. For example, did you know that Egyptians believed their souls had five separate parts, one of which was a human-faced bird called a ba? You will now. The afterlife is filled with exactly the kinds of cool loot you'd expect pharaohs to carry into the afterlife, as well as strange creatures and unique threats designed to keep the living out. Sometimes those threats spill out into the living world, and the shadows of the pharaohs are the first biggest example. Every so often you'll get a heads up that one of the undead kings, or queens like Nefertiti here, is loose and going on a rampage, and when that happens you'll have a limited amount of time to track them down and send them back to where they came from. If you can defeat them before they decide to return on their own, you'll earn loot that you wouldn't otherwise, and save the lives of a few innocents as a bonus. To combat these new terrors, Bayek has seven new abilities for you to unlock as you push toward the new level cap of 55. Some of these are buffs to other abilities like Dash Boost, which rewards perfect dodges with a damage boost, or Overpower Fury, which heals Bayek and any status ailments when he unleashes an adrenaline-charged Overpower attack. Favor of Osiris gradually refills Bayek's tools and arrows while he's in the afterlife. And speaking of arrows, four new archery abilities round out the set, with Bayek now able to automatically infect predator bow kills with flesh decay, pierce shields with fully charged hunter bow shots, get more damage out of his light bow as he scores consecutive hits, or inflict bleed damage on any targets who survive his warrior bow blasts. Curse of the Pharaohs is a sweeping expansion for Assassin's Creed Origins with lots of new territory to explore and plenty of plundered tombs to raid as you put down one restless pharaoh after another. Curse of the Pharaohs is included in the Season Pass or available separately for $19.99 and you can dig in when it launches on March 13th. For more on Assassin's Creed Origins, subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.